Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you the exercise 2 and the base dimension what I would like to use will be 30. So what does it mean? So for example the dimension 2 pair 30 will be 60 and over here will be 120. Yes, so base diameter will be here directly, directly 30 millimeters. We can start from scratch, so the new 3D model will be named as the E02 as the exercise 2 and if it will show the model datums you can see here right now that we will start first extrude feature. We would like to start on the front and we will directly orient in the sketch view. Right now it's not necessary to see the datum plane so you don't need to see it anymore so you can switch off the datum plane from the pane. We would like to create base shape. For this one we can create a center line and system allow to you to create directly the symmetric line. So you can see here that right now the system automatically snap and the create the first line. You can select double click and set your custom value and automatically zoom if necessary. Then you can simply continue with the base shape and you can approximately the create base shape as needed. So you can close the shape with really easy shape and opposite dimensions you can move and whole sketch you can mirror around the selected axis. Now you can create your custom dimension or you can reuse the existing one. So for the better explanation I will create my custom dimension and this one will be 16.5 and new dimension from first selected edge and the reference please use the control button and place middle button and the system allow to you to set up new value. Then you can reuse the existing or just created by system and specify new value 63. You can see right now we have specified base shape yeah, regarding the this rounding shape around and if I will confirm OK you can spin the model to 3D and then you can simply to drag where you want. If you use the right mouse button the system allow to you to use the symmetric or you can simply select drop down menu in the ribbon. Base dimension is 60 like I mentioned and you can confirm OK. If you would like to spin the model into 3D you can use the control D and system will rotate or spin model into 3D and if you would like to use a different visualization of the shading edges or for example shading edges and shading view you can use for example control 2 or directly select from the menu here. What we would like to do next is from the picture is this cut. Yeah? So based on the dimension I will use again the extrude feature. Over here right now the system allow to you the select sketch plane directly from the middle or you can select the front surface for example. It's up to you. It's only different how the system will cut the sketch from internal for example for both side or unsymmetric left hand side or directly from the front side. I will use the front side and again you can use this icon and system allow to you jump into 2D. Over here I will reuse again the center line so if you will create the center line and you will create rectangle right now you can see again the system automatically snap and the system will create symmetric shape. Base dimension is 45 and the depth is 6. It's not necessary to create a additional set shape here so for example the circle but it's up to you. I would like to show you step by step so simply you can drag inside and right now you can see the system automatically 
remove the material. If we would like to outside, automatically add material. We would like to go through and again you can use the right mouse button and select through all or from the ribbon select through all. Okay, we don't want to use only the extrude feature here. So it was reason that I would like to create a hole here in the middle. If you need a hole, sometimes you need to create an axis. We will use it later. For now I will create a hole without the axis. So I would like to create a hole on this surface. And right now you can see the system allow to you to place where you want. Over here is the dragger, so you can move and select reference. So first reference will come from this middle plane and then from the top surface here it will be second reference. What does it mean? In the placement tab you can see direct dimensions and we know that first reference will be aligned and second again will be aligned. Everything is defined. You need to change diameter value. It's a 30 and again depth of hole. Great. So base shape is ready and last but not least is the hole, additional hole here on the main surface. Again, we can reuse the placement on the surface. So we will create new hole. Reference plane will be here. And again, you can use the dragger or simply you can use the right mouse button and use the offset reference collector and system allowed to use select by mouse click. So select the first one. It's a first dimension. I will show you here in the menu. First dimension is definite. And then with control button, you can use the second reference. And you know that these dimensions will be 45. And the second dimension again will be absolutely zero. So it will be aligned. You need to specify the diameter, so 80, and depth will be through all. Great. Opposite hole can be created with same way, but much easier and quicker. So select the existing hole and you can use the mirror feature. Yeah, so you can select mirror feature and the system asks you for the reference plane and you can see that you can confirm and everything is ready. Or you would like to place it one more time. Simply use the copy and paste. Control C, Control V. The system asks you where you would like to place it. And again, the system allows to you use the reference collector. So first collector here and second is here. Use the control button. Diameter and depth is the same. Remember and dimension you can change as you need. Okay, everything is ready and our model is ready to use for the drawing. Fine. So I would like to continue and in the drawing, for example, we would like to spin the model and show in this view. So you can zoom as you want and then in the view manager, you can select orient and you can create, for example, new 3D orientation. So front view, if you select this one or 3D will be definite as it's visualized right now. For future, you can set up your custom color. So you can use the palette or library and you can select what you want and for example simply select the color and base way if you select the name in model tree. Perfect. 3D model is ready and right now we would like to quickly create the drawing. Create new drawing and specify the name so we will use the same name and we will use the empty format. So for example, we will place it on A3. The system will open the empty format A3. Yeah, you can see it here on the bottom. 
and we will start with general view. If you would like to place the general view, the system asks you if you would like to use the combined state. We can explain to you later, but not, not necessary use now, so I don't want to see this window anymore. And then the system asks you how you would like to orient. So in the first categories view type, you would like to orient. So for example, to front view. If I will confirm OK, if you use the right mouse button, sometimes you have a lock view movement. So yes, then it's not possible to move. So please unlock the view. And if you would like to place this view as the new projection view, you can select and use the mouse click here or directly from the ribbon. So projection view. And you can specify where the second view will be created. If you would like to change visualization of the created views, you can select right mouse button and properties. Yeah. And then system allowed to you use, for example, no hidden and tangent edges right now are not visualized, so necessary to change. Maybe on this view, we would like to see here the holes. So please select double click and in view display, you can change display style to hidden. So depends how you would like to see the view. Maybe over here will be really nice to see the 3D oriented view. So we will create new general view and select where you want to create. You can select the orientation. So we would like to just use a 3D and come from OK and based on the color, it's nice. And again, you can specify the placement. What we are missing here is the information regarding the annotation. So in the annotate tab, you can see that it's possible to show model annotation. And like you have seen in before in my previous tutorial, it's simply and easy if you will select view and system will show you all necessary dimension for current view or simply and easy to select the features and the system allow to you to see direct dimension from this feature and this view. If I will select here, the system will show me information here. Over here, for example, I'd like to use this dimension and over here, all additional dimensions. So I will select all of them. You can simply continue, for example, with the hole. Yeah, select all. And again, second hole. And again, it's up to you what kind of the dimension you would like to see. If you don't want to see it, you can simply click on it and the system will do not show it anymore. So you can use the information window here and mark or directly by clicking and selecting. OK, great. So what we miss more is the dimension diameter of this hole and for example, this feature. I will select all of them. Yeah, so select all and come from OK. And right now, some manipulation with the dimension because you can see here that is a lot of dimension is not so nice and not so easy to see and read. So what is best practice? I'd like to show you what the way when you manipulate with the diameter dimension and you move. So it's still selected my left mouse button. If you use the right mouse button, the system will change the orientation yeah, of the arrow. It's the same for the linear dimension. So I will move it here. You can place where you want your note and right mouse button allow to you to change orientation of the dimension. So again, same here, only for a quick example, it's working. Yes, yeah, so you can really easy manipulate with the dimensions. If you would like to align some dimensions or make some nice uh, arranging, you can select all dimensions and in the right mouse button it's possible to use the cleanup dimensions. What does it mean? The system allows to automatically clean up the dimension and place the visualization. So for example, first offset will be 0.5 and over here will be again 0.5 will be offset between two dimensions. So first offset will be from the dimensions offset it from the view and then second between two dimensions. I can try. Yes, perfect. Looks good. And you can see 
that maybe you would like to move it a little bit because the system recognized this is much better it will be over here and you can again change the visualization of the arrow is up to you you can update it later this is the step lines what does it mean if you move the dimension the system automatically snap to the snap lines what does it mean again maybe over here I can explain to you that you would like to see all these three dimensions here what does it mean please select these three dimensions use right mouse button and clean up dimensions dimensions are ready so you can apply and close and you can see that system automatically align these three dimensions and if you would like to move the lines no problem select the line and move it a little bit and the system will show you how easy the is manipulation okay great last but not least we would like to show the datum feature what does it mean the model datums as the axis for example in this view or for this feature so it's depend what you select yeah so for example over here and over here over here I don't know you can show no problem and over here in this view maybe I can show you the manipulation with the axis if the mouse is changed to four arrows and you use the middle button it's moving whole drawing but if you move it left, left mouse button the system will move with the axis so you can extend the lines automatically all of them or you can specify separately for example only this line I would like to move a little bit so be careful if you use the middle button the system will move whole drawing and left mouse button will automatically work with the whole axis it's the same here yes yeah, so if you see here right now if I will select left mouse the system will create smaller or bigger axis for whole okay great so I hope so that you learned today a lot of new things based on the base modeling and base working with the drawing stay tuned and bye bye Vladimir